Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. Here, this question is asking two harmonic sound waves reach an observer simultaneously. The observer hears the sound intensity rise and fall with a time of 0.2 second between the maximum intensity and the succeeding minimum intensity. What's the difference in frequency of the two sound waves? So, here the technique we are going to use is we have to first calculate the period. Since we have two waves right here, the period is going to be 2 times 0 0.200. So the total period is going to be 0 0.400 second, right? And we know that frequency is 1 over t, right? So all we have to do is simply divide this period and that's going to give us the frequency. So this is going to be 1 over 0 0.4 and if you calculate this one, you should get 2.5 hertz. So the answer is going to be A. Now let's look at the second question. Second question we have, as you stand by the side of the road, the car approaches you at a constant speed, sounding its horn, and you hear a frequency of 80 hertz. After, you, after the car goes by, you hear a frequency 60 hertz. What is, what is the speed of the car? The speed of the sound in the air is 350 meter per second. So here they are asking for the speed of the car, right? So this is a question. Now this is a Doppler effective question, so we have to use this formula. That is, frequency is equal to F naught V plus or minus V observer and V plus or minus V source, right? Source is the one that producing the sound. Observer, someone who hears the sound, right? And here they are saying as you stand by the side of the road. So observer is just standing. He doesn't have any velocity. Right. So this one is going to be zero. So we don't have to even do anything about this one. So we only have to deal with V over V plus or minus Vs. Now let's look at the situation. We have the first situation is car approaches you at a constant speed. So when a person if you have a person and if a car approaches right this wavelength is going to decrease right so he is going to have a, fre a higher frequency and if you want to clarify this one you can use this equation to find out v is equal to f lambda so if f is inversely proportional to lambda as the wavelength decreases frequency increases right because we are going to have a lower value and that's going to increase as the frequency. So as this car moves toward this person, if it moves toward this person, frequency is going to increase. So in order to have frequency increase, in the denominator, we have to have a smaller value. Then only this frequency will increase, right? If we have a bigger value, this is going to decrease, decrease the whole value. So we have to have smaller value. So this choosing the sign is the main important. So to have a higher frequency, we have to have negative sign because that only makes this one smaller number, right? So let's put the first equation. We have 80 hertz. 80 hertz is equal to F naught. V is the speed of the sound over V minus V source. So that's going to be the first equation. Now let's look at the second equation. And they say after the car goes by, you hear a frequency of 60 hertz. So the car, now the person is still standing. Velocity is zero, velocity is zero meter per second. This person just standing right here. He's not moving, but the car is moving away from this person. Right, if the car is moving away, now you see this lambda is increasing because the car is moving away. So the frequency is going to decrease, right? If it's moving away, frequency is going to decrease. So in order to decrease, we have to have a higher value in the denominator. So this one should be plus, because then only we will have a higher value. Now let's go ahead and plug this equation. Here we are going to have 60 hertz is equal to F naught V over V plus Vs, right? Now these are the two equations. Now after we created the equation, all we have to do is simply solve this one. The question is asking for this one velocity of the source. Source is this car, right? So car's velocity. Now, F naught we don't know. 
we don't know the F0 and uh, we know the velocity of the sound. Since we have two unknown variables, we have F0 unknown and V source unknown. We have to do something, right? We, had, we can divide both of them to simplify, we cancel this F0. Now let's go ahead and do that one. I need some space so I get rid of this part. Right? Now let's go ahead and plug the equation. Now let's say this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So 1 over 2 is going to be equal to 80 over 60 is equal to F0, F0 cancels if we divide both of them. So we don't have to put that one. Also V is going to cancel. Let's put that one first and then cancel. V over V minus Vs over V over V plus Vs. And here if you notice this V and V cancels. And also this is dividing so this is going to flip around. Both of them are going to flip around because if it's dividing in the bottom that's going to flip around right. So V plus S, V plus Vs over V minus Vs is what we are going to end up with. Now let's get rid of this part too. So 80 over 60 is equal to V plus V over S. Now let's simplify this one. 80 over 60 is going to be, we can cancel this 2, 0. So this is going to be, also this is going to be 4 over 3, right? So 4 over 3 is equal to V plus, let's put the V value to, we know the velocity of the sound. That is 350. So 350 plus Vs over 350 minus Vs. Now let's cross multiply. Here we are going to have 4 times 350 minus Vs and in the other side we are going to have 3 times 350 plus Vs. Now if you multiply 4 times 350 that's going to give you 1400. 1400, 1400 minus 4 Vs is equal to 3 times 350 is going to give, give you 1050. So 1050 plus 3 Vs, right? Now let's bring the Vs together. So if you bring this one in this side, you will, you will get 7 Vs because 3 Vs plus 4 A Vs, I mean 3 Vs plus 4 Vs, you will get 7 Vs. And if you bring this 1050 to the other side, you will get 350 because this is going to be 1400 minus 1050 that's going to give you 350 therefore 7 vs is equal to 350 therefore v is going to be equal to 350 divided by 7 and that's going to give you 50 meter per second so the velocity of the car is going to be 50 meter per second and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time